Jim, just sum up your emotions after being named head coach of Rochdale Football Club. Real pride, Greg. Uh, real happiness. Um, the opportunity to represent our fans, represent our club, lead the team. It's always been a dream of mine to first of all be a footballer and then become a football manager and then I kind of knew um, in, in the mid-stage of my career here, you know, with Keith always saying he, he thinks I will be one day and Brian after him saying I will be one day. Um, I always kind of knew I wanted to be manager here, I knew this is where I really wanted to get it started. So this period has been amazing for me, so, so exciting. I'm, I'm so, so um, happy and I'm, I'm proud to to represent our fans and I, I've had um, some amazing messages off our fans at games and some some of them have sent me them personally um, and it feels it feels amazing to to have the opportunity to represent our fans represent our team um, represent our club and um, that, that our fans cherish and lead the team in, in what's going to be a brand new chapter um, a new start for us um, a, a total new beginning and um, I, I'm, I'm so happy that I've been given the opportunity to do that. I think you've alluded to it in a previous interview about being ready for the opportunity, but how much of these last eight games to the end of the season helped in, in terms of where you want to be and where we want to be next season? I learned so much, Greg. It was a great experience. Um, things that they don't teach you on your coaching licences, things that you know they, they, they don't make aware to you on your badges, um, really learning on the job. Um, handling lots of different issues, it, it's been a it's been a valuable experience for me. So uh, I really appreciated that opportunity, and it's sharpened my thoughts and and concentrated my focus moving forward on on things that I know are going to be of utmost importance to us and how to truly turn my ambitions and my ideas um, into the most effective processes to, to help the team moving forward and help our club moving forward and carry on that 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 good performance return, that good points return that we do managed to establish in my eight games with, with six positive results out of eight. I think that period is definitely going to help my next period now and um, I'm laser focused in, in helping all of us um, have the best experience possible for next season. In some senses, is it kind of a fresh start this summer and then going into next season? I think it's a total fresh start. It's going to be, um, obviously it's a new division, one we've, we've never been before. Um, I think the makeup of the squad, the team, the club, it's all going to look different next season. And I think it has to. Um, we addressed towards the end of last season the things that you know we feel we need to get better at as a club. We need to change. and. I think there's going to be a whole new approach here that you know I'm going to be at the helm of. Um, the club instructed a, a, a new data-led company, MRKT, that have been successful with other football clubs, at, um, Plymouth and, and some other football clubs. And there's going to be a new approach to hopefully um, not making as many mistakes as we've made in the past. And I'm really, really open to that. Um, I've had, you know, I. That, that's something that, that's been part of the interview process and the questioning process and how I feel towards that. I'm, I'm really open to that and it, it feels um, very logical and helpful to, to for me to have help in, in making those decisions um, for the football club moving forward. And it's probably good to have people working for the club that, that aren't inside the, the club as, as fans and can make some, some decisions a bit colder um, and a bit more concentrated. So. It's going to be a brand new, a brand new period. As I said, there's, there's, a, there's a different approach. It's not just going to be one person making decisions on players and stuff. It's going to be um, a lot more people around the table, a bit more collaborative, and it's all designed to help us um, make better decisions than we've made in the past. And I think it can be really, really exciting. Um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to being part of it. Is the first big task for you the kind of retained and release list that happens at the club every summer? Most definitely, it's um, that's first and foremost. That's paramount now that um, I get to speak to the players individually as soon as possible. Hopefully, um, in the coming days now, and they'll be you know deserving and itching to know with what the club's plans are and um, what my plans are moving forward. 
um, and, and I need to speak to those in, in, the, in the next, in, as I say, in the coming days now. That, that's priority number one, really, to um, get through that and get that released to the fan base um, and begin this process now of this new chapter and this new era for the football club. Um, get to work on that immediately. And then after that, it'll be recruitment, like you just touched on in association with MRKT and, and different heads around the table as well. It will, yeah. Um, a whole new approach, and again, that's that's um, first thing now. First thing starting next week is is get together on that um, the whole team around the table, um, sifting through ideas, information, everything we think is important. Um, we will obviously have probably the smallest budget we've ever had, um, but hopefully a competitive budget for the National League. Um, that's all information we need to discuss and share, and then it's figuring out what, what value and what bang for our buck we can get for that, and can we get better at getting value for the money we're spending as a club. Um, we spent more money in the past and, and maybe not got the best value for it, and probably we haven't, because that's why we are where we are now. And it's important now, recruitment is going to be absolutely key. Um, culture change is going to be massive for me. That's that's one thing that is really going to be led by me. The culture of, of people that come into this building now and the culture of people that stay in this building now. Um, one thing I think the fans deserve more than anything, which they'll definitely get from me, um, I don't think they deserve anything less than every single squad member wanting to be here, every single squad member wanting to be part of Rochdale Football Club and Rochdale football team moving forward and every single player willing to support the rest of the team if they're not playing. Um, at this moment in time, would I say that we've necessarily um, had that, got that? I would say not and, and there needs to be, you know, I need to lead the culture change. I need to take charge of the culture element now moving forward, which is something that's very important to me. So uh, recruitment, is hand in hand with that. Anyone that comes into the building moving forward can't just be coming here for a wage, can't just be coming here because we're a football league or we've been a football league club um, for over 100 years and we're now in the National League, so we're attractive on someone's CV. Can't be that. It's got to be um, they, they want to give everything for the club, they want to, to be in this area, they want to earn every pound that they get paid and that they're massively fitting in with the culture that I want to set here. And I think our fans deserve nothing less than that. That is something that when I've been playing here, um, I've always uh, strived to give you know, my maximum. However I could get to my maximum, I've, I've wanted to give them my maximum. And have we had um, maximum effort and return from, from every everyone um, that's been here? I would say not. So um, I want to promise um, that at least on that culture element, I will deliver a squad to the to the to the to the club, um, and hopefully I'll get more than one transfer window to do that, because it takes more than one transfer window to stabilise the club and implement the right culture, and get the right process here that we can start to see some of the outcomes that we want to see as a football club. Just how important is it that everyone's united on that journey within the club and from without the club and the supporters, academy, community, trust, everyone? It's imperative and one thing I spoke to the club a lot about and um, I only really wanted to take the job um, if I could work towards alignment. Alignment was a word that I used a lot. I want to realign the football club um, to all be sailing in the same direction. Um, the youth team first team, whole technical staffs on both of those sides of the club, board, uh, fans, everyone, everyone all pulling in the same direction, but it's got to start within the things that we can control and things that I can begin to control is how the youth team and the first team work together, how the youth team and the first team train together, how the board work collaboratively with the technical staff, with the head coach, all these things I can get to work on control and all these things I think we've lost control of in previous years. So alignment, culture, they're massive to me. I think alignment and culture is where everything starts. Then you implement your processes and then I think we can again hopefully start to see some of the outcomes we want to see. It's a massive, massive job, no doubt about it. And 
a lot of people would be very scared of it, falling out of the Football League. Um, not in the greatest of places financially as a football club and the potential of a takeover or a potential uh, purchase um, at some stage may be hanging over us. Um, and I, you know, the club are open to, to investment, so it's a massive job with a, with a lot of uncertainty. Um, and the big thing that the club have alluded to is, is stability and stabilising our football club. We've got our private ambitions and I'm very ambitious personally. Um, I've got those ambitions for us, for the team, um, for myself, for all of us. But the realism as well is uh, stabilisation is very important. That's something that keeps getting um, brought up um, by the data company also. That it's important that we stabilise and it's important that we don't do what a Stockport have done and a Scunthorpe have done in years gone by and in years just gone by. Is, is we go down and go down again, that just can't happen. And I think the start of that not happening is purely culture and everyone pulling in the right direction. And every Rochdale player wants to play for Rochdale and is fully committed to playing for us. And that's, that's my part around the table. Is that the message to the fans as well? It is. My message to the fans, if I didn't make it clear on that statement, Greg, is that I'm going to do everything now in my power and I'm going to be fully committed um, and it was the only way I was going to do this job was that I can guarantee or at least cast the final eye and have the, the, the most important decision on um, the culture element of our squad moving forward and that the, the players who be in the building, stay in the building or arrive in the building are going to give 100% for the football club and are going to have uh, the right humility. Rochdale players going to, you know, going to be humble, going to have humility, going to be selfless, not selfish. Um, I'm going to give everything to everyone else around them, and hopefully they'll get everything they want in return. And that'll be that'll be the culture I lay down. That'll be my message to the fans. That that's what um, I'll be looking to implement.